It is our custom at this time to award honorary degrees to people of great accomplishment in many varied walks of life. We hold them up as deserving of honor and as examples for our graduates this day. Ann Garrels, Doctor of Letters. As the Edward R. Murrell of the Iraq War, your firsthand descriptions made real for countless radio listeners the U.S. invasion of Baghdad. One of the few journalists who chose to remain in the city, you risked death on one side and kidnapping on the other in order to breathe life into the first casualty of war, which is truth. By day, you roam, you roam the city listening to soldiers, leaders, and ordinary citizens and by night, strung these story beads into a necklace of reporting by satellite phone to audiences 8,000 miles away. Even when things died down and the television cameras finally arrived, your descriptions remained among the clearest and the most full of insight, grounded as they were in your deep understanding of history and humanity, and drawing on your broad experiences reporting over the years from four continents. Baghdad, Chechnya, Kosovo, Tiananmen Square, to all the places we need to be but cannot, we send you. Confident that you will report back with knowledge, thoroughness, and fairness, and prove once again the great power, even from the cacophony of war and the world, of a single strong voice. I hereby declare you recipient of the honorary degree Doctor of Letters, entitled to all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. John Glenn, Doctor of Laws. Let's see. There's Paul Bunyan, John Henry Daniel Boone, and John Glenn. A square-jawed young Marine from the Midwest, you flew more than 100 combat missions in World War II in Korea returning at least twice with more than 250 bullet holes in your plane. Later, as a test pilot, you set a record by racing from coast to coast in the time it takes to watch an in-flight movie. Then you became the in-flight movie when on February 20th, 1962, you rode the improbably small and fragile-looking Friendship 7 capsule three times around the Earth, while the nation watched with its heart in its throat until you returned with a splash that marked the beginning of U.S. advancement in space. Dusting the confetti from your lapels, you moved Davy Crockett style to Congress, where for 24 years you fought to reform government and to control the spread of nuclear arms. Here in academia, we are trained to doubt simple stories and to question the heroic. But today we say the heck with that. This is John Glenn up here. For one thing our nation surely will need in exploring its newest frontiers is the near mythical valor embodied in the person and the name John Glenn. I hereby declare you recipient of the honorary degree Doctor of Laws entitled to all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. Tracy Kidder, Doctor of Letters. Every village anthropologist tell us has its girote, or storyteller, whose narrative shaped the group's self-understanding and meaning. Here in the village of Western Massachusetts, Tracy, that person is you, with keen observation, with close listening and with prose, says the New York Times, of such clarity, intelligence, and grace. You have in a series of remarkable books helped us comprehend how our hometowns work, how we build our houses, how we educate our children, and even how we grow old together. 
In the wider world, you mark the beginning of the computer culture by bringing to life in the soul of a new machine the complex technical and human challenges involved in developing an early mini computer. More recently, a chance encounter with North Adams native Paul Farmer led to your following around the world his relentless fight against diseases that disproportionately afflict the world's poor. The result was the majestic Mountains Beyond Mountains, a book so inspiring, especially to young people, that it has become a sign reading at colleges, including ours, across the country. Back in this village, Tracy, we're both happy and proud to share with the world your uncommon and important skill. I hereby declare you recipient of the honorary degree Doctor of Letters, entitled to all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. James McPherson, Doctor of Humane Letters. Rarely has an historian of such subtlety and insight gained so popular a following. You have earned the highest honors in your field, including a Pulitzer Prize, two Lincoln Prizes, the Jefferson Lectureship, and the presidency of both the American Historical Association and the Society of American Historians. The 15 books you have written and the 10 you have edited have illuminated the US Civil War, including its buildup and aftermath, focusing on both the battlefield and on the home front. Your battle cry of freedom is considered the finest single volume work ever on the subject. At the same time, in your position as a longtime faculty member at Princeton, you have helped train some of the finest historians of the next generation. Your work has also fed and even led the current surge in public interest in the Civil War. As a broad-based educator, you have consulted for the 1990 PBS documentary series, served on the boards of the Civil War Trust and on the Association for the Preservation of Civil War Sites, and as president of the Protect Historic America, led the successful effort to preserve the battlefield at Manassas. This record, Jim, you have built as a scholar citizen it has served us well, both your profession and your nation. I hereby declare you recipient of the honorary degree, Doctor of Humane Letters, entitled to all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. <laughs> James Taylor, Doctor of Music. Probably the first person ever to grace this stage as a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You have sold more than 40 million albums, I bought many of them, won multiple Grammys, recorded with the Beatles, drawn enormous audiences, and become such an iconic part of the culture to have appeared on Saturday Night Live in a Disney movie, and yes, even on The Simpsons. The cover of Time Magazine dubbed you the model for the era of the singer-songwriter that you, more than anyone, helped to launch, reviving the centuries-old tradition of the troubadour who sings his heart as a way of making sense of love and of life. Every guy who behind closed doors picks up an acoustic guitar and croons into a makeshift microphone imagines himself being you. From the most gangly teenager to at least one college president I know. <laughs> more broadly, you have helped our culture publicly imagine what it means to be a sensitive male, full of emotional intelligence, and not needing to smash his guitar to make a point. In the end, you have touched us, not just your Berkshire neighbors, but the world, by showing that the lyrical telling of a life story, even one punctuated with fire and rain, can be oh so sweet. I hereby declare you recipient of the honorary degree, Doctor of Music, entitled to all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. Boy, what a group. 
Clarence Otis, Doctor of Laws. Inspired by your father, you spent your childhood in Watts working hard, aiming high, and learning to befriend everyone from scholar to gang leader. These qualities have served you well during your brilliant career at Williams, at Stanford Law School, and throughout a life of increasing consequence. On Wall Street, you learned the intricacies of finance, both corporate and public, and after moving to Darden, restaurants became CEO and chairman of what is the largest full-service restaurant company in the world. From 1,400 outlets, including those of Olive Garden and Red Lobster, you serve more than 300 million meals a year. It's no surprise that the organization's stated values reflect those with which you were raised, integrity and fairness, respect and caring, and always learning, always teaching. Even less surprisingly, the consensus of industry analysts, in the words of one, is simply that Darden is a superbly managed company. At a time when America is celebrating the movement into national leadership of people whose character has brought them from backgrounds that previously would have barred them, Williams is so proud to hold you up as another thrilling example. I hereby declare you recipient of the honorary degree Doctor of Laws, entitled to all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto.